There are so many amazing skins available on Warzone 3, or Modern Warfare 3's Warzone, whatever you want to call it. This is partly because we have been able to carry over Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 skins across, but also because there are a whole bunch more we can now get. So in this video, I'm going to cover all the best free skins we can get on Warzone, so we're not talking about the crazy skins in bundles here, just the ones you can get for free. And I can guarantee there'll be some in there you didn't know you could get. And I'm going to start by reminding you that the skins that were unlockable via DMZ in Warzone 2 are actually still available, since DMZ still exists. It's just not getting any new updates. Those skins are the Biohazard skin for Koenig, where you have to extract the weapons case in Almarsra seven times, the Weatherproof skin for Cleo, which you get for completing the Tier 5 story mission Crack the Code, the Snowplow skin for the Cortac Group 1 operator, which is a reward for completing the Tier 5 story mission Russian Gas, then there's the Nova Op skin for Nova. Again, you get that for a Tier 5 story mission called Emergency Exit. Then finally for DMZ, there's the Praetorian skin for Koenig, which you get for completing the Tier 5 story mission in the Phalanx faction. So there are some great skins in DMZ there, which you can unlock if you didn't get around to doing them before. And the missions themselves aren't actually too bad. The tricky part is actually doing all of the grinding in the missions and tiers before that point to actually be able to get to the point where you have those challenges available to you. But now we're on to the Modern Warfare 3 specific skins, and I'm just going to quickly run through the list of the obvious skins and operators we can unlock for free before going into the more secret or less obvious ones. First up then is BBQ, who we can get by killing three operators affected by tacticals in a single multiplayer match. This will be best done in plunder using restock as your perk and stuns as your tactical equipment. For blueprints you should already have it if you do own Modern Warfare 3. To get byline you need to get three operator hipfire kills with SMGs in a single multiplayer match. Again plunder is going to be best here. For Jabba, we need to complete the Danger Close campaign mission in Modern Warfare 3. To unlock Jet, we have to get five operator kills with snipers in a single multiplayer match. I think this one is absolutely fantastic, and again, we want to be looking at Plunder if you do only have Warzone. For Pathfinder, we need to complete another Modern Warfare 3 campaign mission, this time the Crash Site mission. Then for Ripper, we need to head into MWZ, the Zombies mode in Modern Warfare 3, and then get 100 kills in a single match. To get Riptide, it's pretty easy. We just have to get one kill with a cruise missile in a single multiplayer match. But obviously, that requires Modern Warfare 3. So if you only have Warzone, you can't really get this, unless there's a free trial of Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, which periodically do pop up. And I always let everybody know when these are, so be sure to be subscribed and stay up to date. Okay, then for the Rocket Operator, this is another one you can only get by having a copy of Modern Warfare 3. But there's no actual challenge attached to this one. Then lastly, for the Spec Grew Operators, we have Score who we can get by completing three contracts in a single Zombies match. Now we move over to the Cortac Operators and Skins before going a little more rogue. And we start with Alpine, a great operator who we can get just by getting three operator kills whilst crouching in a single multiplayer match. Then there's the Captain Price knockoff Bantam, who you can get by performing one finishing move in a single multiplayer match. For Blaze, we just get them by owning Modern Warfare 3 again. For Corso and Doc, we have to complete the Reactor and High Rise campaign missions. For Enigma, we need to get three kills whilst aiming down sights in a single match. Raptor is a little tricky to get on Warzone specifically, as we need to get five operator kills with frag grenades in a single match. This is a plunder specific one for sure, and will be much easier if you down the enemy first and then frag them. Swagger we can get by getting 10 kills with LMGs in a single match. Then Thirst is another operator you can only get by having Modern Warfare 3. Or at least that's the case for the standard base skin. Obviously, if there are new skins that come out in the future and you get them, you'll get the full operator as well. So they're all kind of the normal skins, if you like. Now let's get into some of the more unique ones. Oh, and just a note on ranked play skins, by the way, which were my favorite in Warzone 2, these will likely be coming mid-season in Season 1 when ranked play will hopefully drop for Modern Warfare 3. Then it will probably be a little later for ranked play in Warzone, probably Season 2. Okay, now let's talk PlayStation exclusives. That's somehow still a thing. And yes, I'm bitter because I'm on Xbox. But the good news is that if you are on PlayStation and have PlayStation Plus, you can get a free combat pack and get the Arsonist skin for absolutely free. To get it, you simply have to boot up your PlayStation, head over to the store, go to the Modern Warfare 3 section, and then scroll down until you find the free Season 1 combat pack. Just download that, and then next time you boot up Call of Duty, it'll be there. Next up, we have another weird semi-exclusive skin, and that's with the Hop Hop Hunch Bundle within Amazon Prime Gaming. 
thing. If you do have Amazon Prime, you just have to link your Activision account with your Amazon account, and then it's just super simple. You just redeem it on the website. If you don't have Amazon Prime, you could just sign up to a free trial, redeem this free bundle, and then just cancel it if you wanted to. Now I want to share with you a skin that is so rare, no one actually has it yet, and that's the Urzik Stan Nuke skin. To get a nuke, of course, you have to win five matches in a row, and then complete the Champion's Quest contract, which involves putting together a nuke and protecting it whilst it activates. But at the moment, this is currently not in Urzik Stan, but it will be with us when the Season 1 Reloaded update drops. And Raven Software even did a cheeky reveal of what the reward skin will be. It obviously looks absolutely fantastic, and it'll be super rare as well, but it really is a tough ask to get. I had to include it here though because it is technically going to be a free skin. Then we come on to the Bone Collector Operator skin. This is insanely cool. You can only get this in Modern Warfare Zombies though, and you specifically get it for defeating Zakaev and essentially working your way through all three acts of Modern Warfare Zombies. Hopefully this video helps you look that little bit more flying game. And now why don't you head over to this video and check out how to rank up weapons as fast as possible in Warzone right now.